So everybody knows that content creation is the highest leverage thing you can do for your solo business, for your personal brand, or any other type of business. Most of my work experience over the last 15 years has been with B2B SaaS startups and growing them through SEO and other content strategies. So it's amazing what I can do now with just one person by using a content system that is automating all of the repetitive tasks that go along with this, like draft creation, transcribing YouTube videos, deep research, and so on. So let me show you what I can do with this content system. So basically I'm using Airtable as the trigger field here and also for storing all of the outputs. So with this status field, I can transcribe my YouTube videos, then I can use that transcription to create some other types of content. I can create a blog draft. There is also a perplexity AI module that does research for this. I can write the newsletter with this, at least the first draft, of course, and a LinkedIn post. I can repost my TikTok videos to Instagram, to YouTube shorts, to LinkedIn, and so on. I can also create these quote images that look like this. And I'm using a tool called Placid.app for this. I can also create short video scripts, long video scripts. I can do deep research on any topic. And of course, then repurposing this topic to any type of first draft. And then I can create carousel posts for LinkedIn and also use those carousel images in Instagram as well. So for LinkedIn, I have PDFs generated here that I can download and upload with a LinkedIn post as well. And this whole system starts when I'm adding a new idea, for example, to the Airtable base, let's say AI myths. And then I also have this option to use links, affiliate links or other links I want to share so I can easily bring them in from this other tab here and add these to my content input. And then I just choose an action. So let's say write the newsletter and this triggers my make.com automation here and it's choosing the right route and adding the output back to Airtable. So this is the newsletter post. So it's looking pretty good, even though I only added like a two word prompt and the link that I want to use. But this already saves so much of my time. So if I'm adding really good inputs, I can get pretty good first drafts. So back in January, I actually already created the content system that I shared with you guys. And if you are a member of AIMarketingMasters.com, you might be already using this. So it looked like this. So a bit smaller than the one that I'm using right now. So it has been growing and I have been changing it step by step as I go. The prompts are way better now and it has grown to a pretty good system that I still keep improving. But since it has changed so much, I wanted to share this new blueprint with you guys as well. So if you want to get this and their table template, just join AIMarketingMasters.com. It will be available here once this video is live. So you can just download the automation blueprint and also copy their table based template. And I'm going to show you how exactly then to connect everything. So go to make.com and here import the blueprint and then save and it populates the whole system here. So this is the new system, as you can see from the name as well, 2025 content system 2.0. And then with the Airtable template as well, you just copy the whole base and start using as your own. So let's set this all up. So first you need some test records here and in the links section as well, I have added some of mine so we can properly test it out. The main thing you have to do once you have imported this new system is you have to create your own webhook. So click on the first module and add a webhook and let's name it. Now you will get the URL here, the webhook address. And when you go back to your base, you have to go to automations now. And here, this is a small thing we have to set up. Everything else is already done for you. So basically here we want to add a trigger when record matches conditions. Let's select the content table and the conditions is when actions is any of, and then let's pick all of these actions here in this automation, there are 11 and let's leave these processing and done uh, disabled for now. Then the next step is going to be run a script. We can delete everything that's here right now. Then if you go back to amarketingmasters.com to prompts and scripts section, then here you have the webhook script for Airtable automation, which I'm using every time and just copy this or pause the video and copy it. And then back to Airtable, let's paste it. And then we need to delete the everything before the question mark. So the full URL and go back to make.com, copy your webhook URL, go back to Airtable and paste the URL here. And then one small thing, you had to add input variables. So 
this has to be this record ID here. So record ID and the value is Airtable record ID, the dynamic element. The next step is going to be update the records. So here I want to just update the status. So I wouldn't re-trigger the automation many times. So again, the table is content. The record ID now is the Airtable record ID. And the field that we want to update is the actions field. And we want to set this as processing. So we would see when the automation has been triggered. So then we can turn this on. We can rename it, make that come trigger, for example. And then when we go back to make.com, let's save this webhook. And then since I already have everything connected, you have to go and connect all of these accounts with your own account. Airtable modules are a bit tricky because at first it wants to show you exactly my base here. Your import base might be with the same name. So you have to make sure that you're changing this to the right base that you have actually on your Airtable account. So you might have to refresh and choose the right bases and tables here, but this is only for Airtable modules. For some reason, it's not as smooth as it could be in make.com. And then go through all of these other modules as well. There are some tools that you need, Appify, for example, and I have other videos where I show why and how I'm using this. Claude, basic model for any type of AI content creation, but it doesn't have access to internet. So anytime I need to do some research, I'm using perplexity modules as well. So all of these prompts are already included in these modules when you upload it. So you just have to connect your own account to make it all work. And with these AI modules, you have to upload some API credits. Usually it's like $5 minimum, so it's not that much and it lasts you surprisingly long. And Appify, you can also use the free account. You get some free credits every month that for me actually is quite enough. So I haven't had to pay for this tool yet. I am paying for Airtable because it's such a good tool and so powerful. Most of my automations are in Airtable. Then for any type of like image generation that I showed you these, these quote images, for example, and carousel images that I'm creating. For this, I'm using a tool called Placid App and I have another video, previous one about setting all of this up step by step as well. So if you want to generate these, you have to sign up for Placid's pay plan as well. It's $19 per month. But if you don't want to use this one, then you can just get rid of this route overall or not activate it. So here, another one, again, using Appify for reposting my TikToks to other channels automatically. And down here, again, I'm using Placid app to generate those LinkedIn carousel files. So basically, if you get in trouble with any of these routes, check out the previous content system video where I go step by step, or for each of those routes that have a bit more complicated setup, for example, the LinkedIn carousel route, there is a separate video on my channel as well. So in this video, I'm just showing you how to quickly connect everything and get it working ASAP. So basically, once you have connected all of your own accounts, one thing, again, as I said, Airtable is tricky in make.com. So make sure all of these spaces, the tables are actually your tables and not just the cached version of mine. You might have to do some of the stuff here manually. So the logic is that at the end of each route, there is an Airtable module and this is update the record module. So whatever action you're picking here, it always ends with Airtable update where it actually adds the content back to this table. And it also should be setting this action field to done. So make sure that every Airtable module is set up correctly. For example, here it's already showing the old system base. So now I have to update it. It's just a few clicks to show the correct system. And then the record ID is always important. You get this from the very first step. The last action, I want this to be set as done. So I can know that the automation has concluded. And then based on what the root is doing, I want to also update the fields in Airtable. So for example, this route is transcribing my YouTube videos. So I'm scraping the title of the YouTube video, the description, and the full transcript as well. And then I have this small Claude module that's also generating YouTube chapters based on the transcript. So I'm adding all of these outputs here as well, and then saving it. And you then have to go through all of these to make sure that it's using correct base and the correct table, then the record ID, then the action done. And then based on the route, this route is for a blog post. So make sure the blog post output is added here. So you get it from text response here and then save. So basically go through all of these 
and you will have this whole system set up. And I could quickly tell you what are the biggest changes that I made. So in this original system, I also had these modules here that went into Airtable. And in Airtable, I had another tab here for prompts. So I was storing prompts here, so I could easily change them within my Airtable. But I honestly didn't use it that much. And I felt there were more changes to the AI models that I had to go through change in make.com anyway. Sometimes there were problems with this module, so the whole automation will break. So with the new version, I got rid of it. So the prompts are again back inside these AI modules, as you can see here. And another big thing that I changed is adding more routes. So I figured out new workflows that I wanted to do, for example, the LinkedIn carousels generation. Also I added some additional AI modules, for example, for the blog post draft in the new system. The blog post route is first doing a deep research with perplexity, and then it's giving this research to the next Claude module that takes my original input with the research and then generates a blog post draft for me. The same is for the LinkedIn post and some other stuff as well. And and the last bigger change is that in Airtable, instead of the prompts tab, here I have another sheet with links. So here's where I'm keeping all of my affiliate links and also tool links that I'm using often, but I don't want to go and find the URLs every time. So I'm storing all of these here. And this is linked to the Airtable main content sheet. And if I'm doing a new idea or other type of input, I can now add the links as well. So let's say I'm using different affiliate and other type of tools inside the content that I want to mention, then, then this information will also be added to my original idea or transcript or whatever I'm using as input. So this again saves me so much time. It's all of these small things that content marketers spend time on, like reposting the different channels, like finding the file, writing the first draft, finding those correct links and copying, pasting everything here and there then repurposing a blog post to a newsletter, to a LinkedIn post. All of this takes so much time. So I'm saving a lot of time by using this type of system. So it's mostly for saving my time and not to come up with new ideas. Like a big believer in having great ideas, great content as input, and you will get better outputs as well. So go to AIMarketingmasters.com. It is a paid community, but hopefully it is worth it. I share all of my prompts, all of my automations, and I will take your requests into account as well when I'm creating new videos. So get the blueprint, the template for Airtable, and let me know if you need more help with this or you have more requests. Hope you like this video and see you next week. Bye!